So in this video, I want to spend a few minutes talking about this product. It's called the Rocket Book, and it'll be a little bit of a change of pace for this channel, which usually we talk about things that are like, uh, you know, really tactile and, uh, you know, a lot about the writing experience, but this is a reusable notebook that's more about sort of the reusability, but also the sort of the technology behind it. So uh, anyway, it should be pretty interesting. I've been playing with it for a couple weeks and I have uh, some thoughts about it. This is called a Rocket Book Mini. It is a, like I said, a replace, uh, sorry, a reusable, erasable notebook. It has a tough m plastic cover. And then it has these smooth, almost plastic-like paper pages. Uh, they're erasable. And so the reason they're so smooth and they have this sort of plasticky sort of coated feeling is because that just makes them tougher and more erasable. This specifically is called the Rocket Book Mini. It's the sort of pocket size version of it. It's about the size of a, uh, you know, like a small notepad you put in your pocket, kind of like a field notes type thing, but it's obviously uses a, uh, a top cover as opposed to a, a side, you know, uh, normal stitch binding or whatever. This thing is, uh, it's a really big seller on Amazon. I was really surprised when I landed on it, you know, some time ago and I kind of never picked it up. It was just like, it seems to be a perennial top seller on Amazon, Rocket Book, and it's different iterations. So I was always curious, uh, you know, why it was so popular, what people liked about them. And finally, I picked one up. I think it cost about $12. And for that, you get this notebook. It's about uh, maybe about 40 sheets. And you get a Pilot Friction capped erasable pen. You have to use erasable pens with this. That is key. And you get this little chamois. And this is just for cleaning this off, which we'll demonstrate in a second. The The notebook itself, like I said, it's just a pocket notebook, pretty standard, except you do have a, a tough cover. This is like the cover on a old school, like Mead five star used to, I don't know if you had anyone had those back in the day, but it was this really tough cover that would outlast the notebook itself or the paper in the notebook by by forever, but now that the pages are basically infinitely reusable, kind of makes sense to have a really tough cover. And the plastic uh, binding is, uh, you know, the spiral binding is is really it's pretty tough as well. It's held up uh, quite nicely. I've been having it in my bag for from some time. Okay, as for the pages, so now we have it's a plasticky page, definitely thick and uh, definitely tough. Not something that will readily tear, but it can tear, but not, not going to happen. Essentially waterproof, but very, very smooth. It works well with the friction and other erasable pens, uh, but not every erasable pen works perfectly. The frictions do work the best, and we'll demonstrate that in a second. Uh, here's a quick writing demo I did some time ago, uh, just kind of testing out the... Uh, this was a 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 second smear test, which takes a while for it to dry. Uh, I tested out the eraser. And then uh, what if you push hard on it? I was kind of curious about just how it held up to day-to-day -day use. And like, is it really going to last that long? Uh, and then the other thing I want to talk about was this. Clearly, I've obscured this in a not very nice looking manner, but it has a little QR code in here. So this Rocket Book has a free app you use with your smartphone. You take a picture of the QR code, or you take a picture of the whole page. The QR code is like a unique identifier for your page. It doesn't mean anything uh, in the, the world of things, but I obscured it anyway. I don't know. And then uh, you basically have the unique page, scans it in so you have a picture of the page, and then you could also, the app will email it off to you or IFTT or Zapier it over to wherever you want. It'll also do an OCR, which is an optical character recognition, which I tested out. Uh, one of these pages, I did a little OCR test. And uh, what OCR test, what it does is it will uh, read off the sheet to you and get the picture of what you wrote and turn it into text. So here's my OCR text, and I'll, I'll post on unsharpen.com how it read this, took a picture of it, and then translated this into uh, just like copy and pastable text as opposed to an image file on your computer. 
did a pretty good job. You know, they're using probably a third party OCR engine. So, you know, just like a cloud based thing. It's not like these guys needed to write their own OCR engine. So it's not surprising that it worked well. Okay, so how does it work day to day? I'd say it's pretty okay. I don't enjoy writing on the paper, right? This this stuff's not about really like a nice tactile writing experience or high-end paper. It just feels really smooth, like you're writing on glass almost, but the it does the ink does stay there. That's not a problem. And uh, this is with that standard pen, which is a 0.7 millimeter pilot friction. So you could buy these. It's like two bucks. You will see that for lefties, there's a lot, there's a long dry time. So that's definitely a problem if you're worried about smearing. There's really no way around that. It takes about 20 seconds to dry. Once it does dry, it's, uh, it's not going anywhere. So it's pretty good. And uh, you won't have to worry about it. You know, if you spilled some coffee on it or something like that, yeah, it'll come off. But uh, you won't be able to just wipe it off after about 30 seconds. If you do want to erase the pages, well, first of all, if you want to do just general erasing for a mistake, then you could just use the eraser on the back of the friction. That works perfectly fine. You don't have to do that for the whole pages, though, because you can get this chamois. You get this thing a little bit damp, and you could just wipe the whole thing down. And now you could see that page is, is, you know, there's a little bit of residue there, whatever, but it's basically a brand new page. And if you took a picture of this with your camera, then uh, you have a record of it and you could start all over again. So it actually does work really well. And if you push really hard, you know, can you make an imprint on this? And then next time will your writing experience be a little bit less pleasant? Yeah, you could probably just pick that up. Yeah, that's true, but that's generally not going to happen because the paper is so smooth. And this is, you know, the pen puts ink down with no pressure whatsoever. So you don't have to write that hard. So I don't, I'm not really afraid about messing up the pages. That's completely fine. Uh, you can see there's some, some stuff here. And if you get this a little bit wetter, it will pick up all that ink. So that's not really a problem. Yeah, you know, the pages do, you know, they pick up some wear and tear, but really nothing too bad go back to this OCR test. I wrote this down uh, maybe three weeks ago. Uh, and we'll wet this thing. And you can see it erases no problem. But here is my finger. Uh, it won't erase this. So it's actually working as intended. That's pretty nice. You can also use other friction pens. So this is the one that came with it, 0.7. This actually works the best. This one is a 0.4 millimeter friction point knock. So I think a Japanese model. Doesn't work quite as well. The extra size of the ball, it helps. So you can go a little smaller, but the little bit wider, a little bit extra width, definitely stops some of the skipping. And then this, I think is a 0.5 millimeter and definitely a little bit better than the 0.4, not quite as good as the 0.7. Anyway, the, the point is that you can use any erasable pen. I would recommend the stick them with the friction. Uh, there's not too much else to say about this. If you're looking for kind of an erasable pen, or sorry, erasable notebook, that you could reuse over and over again. And you're looking for a, you know, technology solution, like you want something that could scan it in via the app and save it. Uh, it'll dump it into OneNote or to uh, Evernote or any of those kind of uh, organization programs you like. So you don't have to replace that with Rocketbook, but Rocketbook's software will transfer the images, keep them cataloged using that QR code, and then it'll also... Uh, OCR them if you want. So you kind of have to buy in the whole ecosystem for this to work. Because there are other replaceable notebooks. You can get it right in the rain and erase from that pretty well as well. Uh, but it's a pretty nice ecosystem overall. It's not really for me because I don't enjoy writing in it. And I'm happy just to take a picture of my notes if I need it. And uh, I don't need these guys' uh, like their uh, 
you know, their software and all. For me, that's a little bit overly complicated. But overall, it does a nice job and it's a pretty interesting product. And the fact that you could buy into it all for like between 12 and maybe $17, $18 for a normal one. And then there's a really big version, you know, like an A4 size. That's like 22 23 So pretty low barrier to entry, especially with the technology solutions and the pen included and the chamois. So pretty interesting product. And I'm glad I checked it out. So thanks for watching.